The planned acquisition of 24 fighter aircraft in the near future, for the Philippine Air Force PAF. Recently the Philippine Star released a news report regarding the planned acquisition of 24 fighter aircraft in the near future for the Philippine Air Force PAF. The report's headlines will be coming from South Korea, although the content of the report reveals that it will be acquired. To clear this report, it would also be best to be followed by the Philippine Air Force for their acquisition of more fighters. This is also related to projects being embarked on by the Department of National Defense DND, and the PAF. The report claims that their source came from a report released by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute SIPRI, a renowned defense and security think tank. Upon closer inspection, it appears that the news report came from SIPRI's Trenzim International Arms Transfer 2014, by Peter D. Westman and Seaman T. Westman. The exact source is located on page 6 of the said report. The SIPRI report also did not indicate the additional fighter aircraft source, so we can say that the Phil Star's headline was incorrect or unintentionally misleading. The Philippine Air Force has been pushing very hard to accomplish its goal to transition its forces to territorial defense after being tied up to internal security operations for decades. A few years ago, the PAF released its Air Defense Strategic Plan, with the medium-term vision of having a credible air defense force by 2022. With the revised AFP modernization program scheduled for implementation from 2013 to 2028, the PAF has created a program that would be done in stages with the major breakthrough goals having set by years 2022 for the medium term and 2028 for the long term. This is called the PAF Flight Plan 2028. In 1953, the Philippine government established the Philippine Air Defense Identification Zone PADIC. It was meant to delineate the area in which the identification, location, and control of civilian aircraft is required in the interests of Philippine national security. This is different from the Manila Flight Information Region, for, due to the security and defense nature of PADIC. PADIC only covers entire Luzon region, parts of Visayas, and only islands north of Palawan. Major areas in the Visayas like the islands of Cebu, Negros, Leyte, Bohol, and the entire Mindanao region are not included in the current PADIC. With regards to regional scope, the PADIC is bordered by Taiwan Air Defense Identification Zone TADIZ, and is just below the Japan Air Defense Identification Zone JADIZ. Read more at Max Defense. Ang planong pagkuha ng 24 na fighter aircraft sa malapit na hinaharap para sa Philippine Air Force PAF kamakailan lamang ang Philippine Star ay naglabas ng balita tungkol sa planong pagkuha ng 24 fighter aircraft sa malapit na hinaharap para sa Philippine Air Force PAF. Ang mga headline ng ulat ay darating mula sa South Korea, bagaman ang nilalaman ng ulat ay nagpapakita na ito ay makukuha, upang i-clear ang ulat na ito. Magiging mas mahusay na sundan ng Philippine Air Force para sa kanilang pagkuha ng mas maraming mandirigma. Kaugnay din ito sa mga proyektong inilunsad ng Department of National Defense DND, at ng PAF. Ang ulat ay nagaang na ang kanilang pinagmulan ay nagmula sa isang ulat na inilabas ng Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, SIPRI. 
isang kilalang tangke sa pagtatanggol sa seguridad at seguridad, sa mas malapit na inspeksyon, lumilitaw na ang ulat ng balita ay nagmula sa SIPRI's trends sa International Arms Trends for 2014. Ni Peter D. Wes Eman at Simon T. Wes Eman, ang eksaktong pinagmulan ay matatagpuan sa pahina anim ng nasabing ulat. Hindi rin ipinahayag ng ulat ng SIPRI ang pinagmumula ng pinagmula ng sasakyang panghimpapawid, upang masabi natin na ang headline ng Phil Star ay hindi tama o hindi sinasadyang nakaliligaw. Itinutulak ng Philippine Air Force ang layunin nito sa paglipat ng mga pwersa nito sa pagtatanggol sa teritoryal matapos mahigpit ang mga operasyong pansiguridad sa loob ng mga dekada. Ilang taon na ang nakalilipas, inilabas ng PAF ang planong pangkaligtasan ng air defense nito na may medium-term vision na magkaroon ng isang credible air defense force sa pamamagitan ng 2022. Sa pamamagitan ng revised AFP modernization program na naka-schedule para sa pagpapatupad mula 2013 hanggang 2028, ang PAF ay lumikha ng isang programa na gagawin sa mga yugto na may mga pangunahing mga layunin ng tagumpay na itinakda ng mga taon ng 2022 para sa medium term at 2028 para sa pang matagalang. Ito ay tinatawag na PAF Flight Plan 2028 noong 1953. Itinatag ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas ang Philippine Air Defense Identification Zone PADIZ. Ito ay sinadya upang ilarawan ang lugar kung saan ang pagkakakilanlan, lokasyon, at kontrol ng sibilyan sa sakyang panghimpapawid ay kinakailangan sa interes ng pambansang seguridad ng Pilipinas. Ito ay naiiba mula sa Manila Flight Information Region, FIR, dahil sa kaligtasan at pagtatanggol kalikasan ng PADIZ, sakop lamang ng PADIZ ang buong rehiyon ng Luzon, mga bahagi ng Visayas, at mga isla lamang sa Hilaga ng Palawan, ang mga pangunahing lugar sa Visayas tulad ng mga isla ng Cebu, Negros, Leyte, Bohol, at buong rehiyon ng Mindanao ay hindi kasama sa kasalukuyang PADIZ. Tungkol sa panrehiyong Saklaw, ang PADIZ ay bordered sa pamamagitan ng Taiwan Air Defense Identification Zone PADIZ, at nasa ibaba lamang ng Japan Air Defense Identification Zone JADIZ. Magbasa ng higit pa sa Max Defense. Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.